Hey Zen fan, welcome. So today's video, we're going to discuss a little bit of futuriness. So as we're all aware, we're now exiting August, soon into September. We've got a digital version of Gamescom kicking off. And let's face it, the opening night live was at best a lacklustre. Sure, the Ratchet and Clank trailer at the end was kind of neat. A little bit of extension, a wee bit more of the world, but... Yeah, the whole thing was kind of yawn. And that's pretty much been a consistent factor for all these digital conferences. They've all just been... Meh. Nothing's really going... <gasps> you know? I've never once been sat there, you know, like the old Max Hell advert from the 80s, like, <laughs> it's like, you know, it's just there's been no excitement, there's been no hype. There's been a lot of unwarranted hype and, you know, in chat spaces online, oh my god, this might, might come out, this game, oh no, this one, this one, and there's a, nope, didn't see that game, didn't see that game, didn't see this game, didn't see the other game. Oh, you know that thing you were looking forward to that you there were the talks being about? Oh, you didn't get that either. And it's over and over. It's just like 2020, the year of disappointment. <laughs> and it's just like, we have no E3, you know, we've had no PAXs, no EGX, no Resonate. You know, you name the gaming convention that normally happens. And it's not happened this year. And we all know why. Well, for what uh, some in some circles are calling the Voldemort. <laughs> the thing that no YouTuber dare mention for fear of the big time ban hammer or not, you know, of naughty YouTuber, naughty from Google going, you have said the word, or we will spank you. <sighs> But it's just the lack of an E3 and the lack of all these other things has kind of got me worried because the gaming companies might just go, well, throwing out a pod, throwing out a, like a video or throwing out like a live stream, it's really cheap. Much, much cheaper than hiring a chunk of a convention centre and putting on a live show and broadcasting it to everybody. And, getting the rights and the grips and the, all the rest of it, all the staff and the seating. It's an expensive deal putting on into something like an E3 booth. And, I mean, there's, you know, when was the there hasn't been a PlayStation experience in like two years. And obviously there won't be one this year. And it's just like, so that'll be three years of a PlayStation experience in the launch year of the PlayStation 5. And it's gonna be a sad thing if these don't exist anymore. I say the fact that like, you know, people can't go to them and experience the games firsthand and we don't get all the hype. And the idea that like maybe someday I could go to E3 for you guys and give you that view from the show floor and Oh look at this. Look at this! Whoa! Look at this! That'd be so cool. But as it stands currently, I am a very small, very poor YouTuber. I don't even have a passport. <laughs> uh, but here's the thing, right? It gets me. Is because there's been so many events. You know, there's been an Ubisoft event here. There's been an E3 event there. There's been this thing here, that thing there, two things from here, this people here, two things from these people here, and it's just been bit, 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 bit all throughout the year. There's been no cohesive vibe. I mean, say what you want with E3, how it was just this big juggernaut and it was just like it took over the week. I preferred that. And I think a lot of you out there preferred that. Because you know how we go. E YouTubers like me would take the week off work if they weren't already big enough YouTubers to have a channel that paid their paid their life. And it was great. I would take the week off work. I would just dive deep into gaming, smother myself in it. I 
And I couldn't do that this year. I couldn't just dive deep into the world of video games and just let it wash over me and then report my thoughts and feelings to you guys. Especially now this year when I've got the better phone that does the dual screen functionality and I can like do all the clever stuff and I can do proper reaction videos. Admittedly, I can't do live reaction videos yet. I'm working on that. <sighs> Actually, there are more things to talk about for the future of this channel coming near the end of the video, so stay tuned. Yeah. So, I think the thing I would say that if we can't have physical events, which if we can't is obviously a great, great shame, then can we at least have it all in the one go? You know? Because there's been so many little shows that so much gets missed. I mean, like, in the one of the E3, uh, not E3, sorry, one of the games, Comcasts, there was a game showing, and I was watching one from Young, yeah, and he was like going through all the stuff, and there was a game that was showing at one of the earliest events this year. And he didn't remember it, but he'd already spoken about it because it's just been broken up. Whilst it's, when it's all in the one week, it's all fresh, it's in your mind, and it's much more exciting. So if these things must be digital only, going further from this point, then please, let it all be in the one week. So now I can take that week off work, report it all, and dish it up for you guys in a much more digestible form than several hours long days worth of digital events. I can condense it down for you guys and be your resource. Which is one of the things I like to provide as a service on this channel. I like to be your news resource, but obviously with a Scottish point of view. Uh, anyway, as I was discussing future stuff of this channel and me being your resource, then a thing I would very much like to do is to do another Q&A video in the future. I'm thinking towards the end of September I'd like to do a live Q&A on YouTube with you guys so you can... because a lot of these are new. I mean there's been a large uptick quite recently in subscribers. Not enough as the uh, competition has shown. Now yes there's been some new people, there's been some new blood, but if the competition is going to work, then a good deal more of you need to come up and actually be subscribing. And obviously if you subscribe then, then obviously enter the competition, but unless by tw the 23rd of October this year, 2020, if I haven't reached that magical 500, I'm going to have to withdraw the competition. I don't want to do that. I, want, I love the idea that there'll be two of you out there in the world walking around this planet with my t-shirt on you. Yeah, that's a really cool thing. You know, the idea that you can be walking around the streets of wherever you live in the world and people will go, what's that? And you'll go, oh this. Oh this is this YouTuber channel I've watched. And then they'll ask questions and then they might f they might start watching the videos and maybe they'll subscribe and maybe they'll tell their pals and that can get bigger and stronger and then like you know I can start to actually do more things for you guys maybe I can get to the point where I can have a Patreon you know and then I can afford things like a passport you know and afford things like accommodation at events in 2021 wouldn't that be cool that I could make that kind of stuff for you guys? Yeah. So yeah, obviously, I'd like to do this. I'd like to do that. I'd like to do the Q and A video. That would be fun. And I'm thinking there's lots of other little bits and pieces I would love to do for you guys. Uh, but if there's ever anything you guys want to see from me, then please contact me. Tell me. You know. And another thing I need your help with, I am more than aware I am not the only Scottish YouTuber out there, which is part of the reason why I put up the, the hashtag support your Scottish YouTubers at the end of all these videos, 
if you've ever seen it, if you stick to any of which I certainly hope you would, because I like to think I do put a good amount of work into these here videos. If you know of any other Scottish gaming YouTubers out there, please message them in whatever form you feel best and let them know that I am trying to set up a Scottish gaming YouTuber podcast. I want to have other Scottish gaming YouTubers with me in a podcast so we can talk about gaming from our point of view, you know? That's what I want to do. I want to have this podcast because I think I can do it now because when I tried to podcast in the past it didn't work so well, technical limitations, so on and so forth. So I want to do that, so if you know any other, tube, any other Scottish gaming tubers, tell them I exist, tell them about this opportunity. Anyway guys, I think I've rambled on quite long enough. I didn't want this video to be too long so I'm going to love you and leave you. So you know the drill, hashtag support Scottish YouTubers and of course, as always, I ne bother.